welcome back to the channel and uh, this is another hero breakdown video and today we are going to talk about akemi um i actually really like akemi as an early early game commander compared to most other another popular choice which is freya mm, i like akemi more because i'll get into it why so first if we are going to do the usual breakdown fashion where we are going to talk about skill the possible talent tree potential pairs her being a lead or assistant and her using field or any or any other situation basically so let's dive right into it so her first skill is uh deals direct damage up to 3 enemy squad in a fan shape area damage factor 4200 and reduce their travel speed by 30% for 2 seconds now this is a very good skill first of all it's an aoe which provide a debuff to enemy squad pretty good because of the fact that any time your target is running away from you and her skill drops the target is going to slow down so you deal ex so you can you know deal damage to that particular target very good for say uh hitting down rider squads rider squad is usually well faster than range anyways uh and i'll get to it how you even though it says that she's a range squad commander but we'll see how that can be overcome no so this is a very very good skill so obviously we go for, for when we talk about skill sequence first skill goes first definitely there are a couple of exceptions we'll get to those heroes when we do their breakdown but yes next one is uh increase damage dealt to slow target squad by 16% also increase target squad attack by 14% now this is what we are talking about there are so many heroes in the game that deals extra damage to slow down targets so the moment the skill drops 30 per uh, th travel speed reduced by 30% so the target is slowed down we do 16% extra damage to those slow targets another thing is if we if i remember correctly rago has a second skill Hmm. So when attacked, it reduces targets attacker's travel speed by eight percent for five seconds. Oh, sorry, twenty five percent. And when he awakens, um, yeah, for five seconds still. Yeah. So he does reduce skill uh the speed too. So there are many um, even though some other of your ally squad did the um. uh slow did slow down the target this skill will still work because it just talks about slowed targets and get extra damage that's good and uh squad attack by 14% now this does not specify what troop type just squad attack could be any any troop like uh if we go to charlie let's say he does have uh infantry defense infantry squad defense infantry squad attack and infantry squad hp she just squad attack range or not does not matter next increase squad's damage dealt to zombies by 30% just a zombie skill Now last one is basic attack has 10% chance to reduce enemy's travel speed by 50% for 3 seconds again another slowing effect this effect can be triggered only once in 6 seconds so if this since this is not a wage skill um your wage cycle does not apply to it so every 6 seconds once in 6 seconds so it doesn't say has to happen every 6 seconds say this effect happened from uh second 1 till second 6 it happened on second 
after once in trigger only once in six seconds so it can definitely the way it is worded once in six seconds so every six in six second window it can happen once it can happen on fourth second in first window and then in first second on the second window so it totally depends when it get triggered just it can get triggered once in six second window so this is another, another slowing effect now um i think this is just uh, enhancement on a on her previous skill i think it was her skill number yeah second skill that 16% instead of 11 and attack increased by 14 9, 9 to 14 but yeah so basically this particular hero can be used with different troop type doesn't have to be range now if you go with a talent tree and you select say range uh, talent, uh range tree then yeah then she's gonna only buff range troops in that case because if she had a skill tree would have been great but she does not so i just pick up wage over here just in case i'm leading with her and uh, gain some infantry squad next since she has um zombie skill um is and also a zombie tree i think uh, whenever i see a zombie tr uh, hunter tree i do get this particular skill first talent first uh spoils of battle when you get to it you get extra experience gain when you are uh hitting zombies and less stamina used while attacking zombies when the mo consecutive attacks you do the less stamina you use so in my main account i do use her in one of those heroes that i um hunt zombies with to um help the assistant whoever i'm running her with that is the main hero i want to build so usually that's a legendary hero i'm running and as an assistant with her just to get extra xp out of it mm, yeah so that's one way of using her later in the game but early on she is a good lead and a good assistant it depends on who you run her with because she does do an aoe damage and travel speed reduction with bonus damage to reduce speed targets so what is a possible way to build her skills to get her battle ready skill number one obviously skill number two because you want to have that extra damage on slow targets then another speed reduction as much as speed reduction possible get it last one would be the zombie skill so one two four three would be something i would um i went with so because it made sense to me the way i was using her so it just again if i'm saying any kind of a skill sequence is based on the way i build her and uh, build a hero and uh, find it more useful to be better ready now since she has an aoe skill and uh I would usually keep her in a place where the moment uh, in arena specifically I put her in a place where I hit as many targets as possible at once but not get targeted uh, directly because in arena I do run her with ranged troops and I want that AoE damage to be dealt to as many enemy troops as possible so I place her usually in a way that she's always out of the main line of fire and uh, she does provide slow effect and then extra damage which is good so that would be it and uh, on field usually i run her with uh, hmm i did run her with multiple heroes like i did run her with uh, charlie and i did run her with uh, uh, liam as an assistant um, she being an assistant 
uh, because Liam has a skill tree, I usually also a leader tree. So I usually use that multiple troop types and uh, getting more age and getting more of that skill drop. Who else I ran her with? Mm. As an assistant to uh, Jaden. I did, did use her that way. And yeah, that's about it. I haven't run her with Vago. It does not make sense. So yeah, she's one of those heroes that you can run with anybody. And if you're running her as a lead, do run her with uh, someone that is not going to get targeted see that you don't get targeted first you can even run her with the uh, mm, not sure hmm alex maybe you can i see a way how to get that squad out do a bit of damage good aoe damage buff my troops uh ally troops and then when it's down get her out and send her back in yeah that could work so yeah then again this is one of those heroes that can be run with uh, anybody just because her skills are not tied down to any troop type you can run her with anybody um yeah but later on in the game you won't be using her that much compared to charlie and alex she is gonna you know not be as useful very quickly but Compared to most other epic heroes, she is still going to be useful. Now, most likely I'm not going to do a video of Freya. Because, again, she's tied to a specific troop type. That one, that is one. And, uh, again, squad capacity since I'm never going to rally with her. I really don't need that. Mm, but yeah, she can be as an assistant. But again... She is more of a lead than assistant when it comes to um, Rider Squad. And uh, since I already have um, Catherine and Cynthia as my Rider Squad, you know, um, legendary Rider Squad team, I don't, I never really thought of doing Freya. Plus, I would rather go with a more versatile hero than a particular hero that is tied to a particular troop type. So, yeah, so that's about uh, Akemi and uh, with that, uh, let's wrap up this video and I will come up with the next uh, hero breakdown very soon and yeah, thanks for listening and if, if you have any questions, do ask me in comments and I will surely reply to them. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.